morning. How are you? How are you do? Good morning. So, good morning, you guys. We have a little friend here. We've been watching him this weekend while his owners have been at Coachella, and he's such a sweet boy, huh? He's really cute. Very sweet dog. Um, so, good morning. What's up? If you notice, you can see how swollen my eye is. <laughs> little deja vu moment. This happened almost exactly two years ago, actually, when I was studying for my first set of boards. Um, I got, it's a hordeolum however you pronounce it i don't like eye stuff i had really you want to come down here come on come on come on come on i know you want to come down you want to play i know but i'm talking just give me a sec um let me help you so you don't break your little body there okay i noticed that the gland was getting clogged because i could feel like the bump and it was starting to get just like hard i was doing warm compresses to try and loosen it up and it didn't and now it's obviously infected again uh last week it was really bad and i had pain all the way going here and my lymph node is really swollen here and my jaw uh was in a lot of pain i don't the lymph nodes kind of still boggy here but it's, there's not much referred pain anymore but this really hurts and it's not getting better i'm gonna have to go to the ophthalmologist and he's gonna have to cut it out I just don't want it. It's so gross. Um, it does not feel good. So I'm going to call him at his office this morning and see if he can get me in this week and open this up. That's what I'm dealing with today, but it's okay. This week's going to be a really good one, huh? Because we have fun stuff um, planned for this week. I'm going to go to yoga this morning. I have a lot of stuff that I actually have to get done today in terms of like admin work. Um, but yeah. Where's your mama? Where's your mama? Huh? Where are they? Yoga was super nice. It was hot yoga. However, I think I've been so active lately, like between yesterday I, I golfed, uh, I've been surfing, golfing, yoga. Um, I think that my muscles aren't recovering as good as they should. Um, I don't think I'm having enough protein in my diet and stuff to actually recover from my workouts because yoga has been kind of hard for me lately and I think I have like muscle fatigue. I'm at Costco right now because I want to go get some stuff to make smoothies um, and get some more um, protein powder because I'm almost out of that care of one that I've been using. So yeah, also my eye. I am going to the ophthalmologist today at 3 p.m. I called and I was like, hey, the same thing from two years ago is happening. Um, it's not getting better and I'm in a lot of pain. Is there any way that he can, I can come in and can he cut it out today? And look at how swollen it got just from going upside down in yoga. Like it gets so much pressure here because the blood will go to that area and then it just swells up and it's even in more pain. And I have so much pain right here right now. So I don't know. I just don't want whatever this is. This in like if it's infected for real, for real, which I, it is. But uh, I don't want it to spread throughout the fascia in my face and then go to my brain and then kill me, you know. I don't know. I just like, I don't know. So I'm, I'm glad he can get me in today. I'm bummed. I'm excited to see him because I love that doc. He's so nice. Um, but then I'm, I'm not obviously excited because I'm the worst patient in the world and I hate being a uh, patient. So I'm going to head into Costco and grab my stuff and uh, I'll probably film on my phone because I don't want to attract attention. <laughs> And we have to clean. Oh, I took all my lashes off. And no, that's not why I get these eye things. Like it's not. It has nothing to do with my eyelashes. I get them cl I clean them all the time. I've been doing those for years, like probably 6 years. And this has only happened one other time. Um I always am cleaning them. I redo them just way too often to get anyways. So that's not that's not the reason, but I took them off. Uh, but yes, I just arrived to my, um, ophthalmologist office and I'm going to go in. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, please, please, please. I hope that he decides to cut this out. I'm going to go in there and let's see what happens. I'm excited to see him at least my favorite dog ever. Okay. Bye guys. Okay guys. So he's going to surgically open that thing. Um, I'm glad because this is what I want because I don't think it's going to just resolve on its own. So we're dilating my eyes right now. Uh, my eyes are dilated right now. So I have like two pairs of sunglasses on because it's hella bright outside. So bright and it's blinding me and hurts. It's called a hordeolum. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's an internal one, he said, and 
the treatments are either giving antibiotics, which I'm probably going to have to have some anyways because of the pain and all of that. So there's probably a little infection going on. Um, and then other than antibiotics and warm compresses, which I've been doing warm compresses and it has not resolved it at all. So the only other management is to surgically um, make an incision and then drain it uh, or get all the stuff out. Okay, hey guys, so I did not get the procedure yesterday. Um, I actually had gone back in to get the procedure done at 5 p.m., but then the doc was like, hey, something came up, and do you have time tomorrow? Because I don't want to rush. And I was like, well, yeah, I don't have much going on, so um, I'm going back today. I'm excited to get this removed just because I'm over it. I would like to um, not stress about this anymore, and look normal I don't know I just I just read rather not what sucks is that I have a dinner on Thursday and it's like a awards or recognition dinner being thrown by the school I don't know who's all invited but I know that a select group of people are invited oh, I don't know if I want to share with you guys <laughs> uh, okay I'll just tell you anyways because it doesn't really matter um, but I am in the top 10 people in my class I think I'm number five last time I got my ranking um, I was number five and I think we have like over 200 students in my class and uh yeah there is a an awards dinner on thursday which i'm excited to go to but now i'm gonna have this freaking thing draining i don't know if he's gonna slit the outside last time he did but this is an internal hordeolum or whatever this one was an external one so he had to slit the inside and outside this one i don't know i think i feel like he might just slit the inside and there won't be an incision on the outside but we will see Ew. Remember this, guys? I stood here two years ago. Everything went well. I'm like sad. <laughs> my eye. He said my eye's black and blue. I'm just gonna close my eyes because it just feels weird. Um. Okay, so everything went well. Um. I'll talk to you guys when I get home. What is up everyone? Good morning. Um, I slept fine. My eye hurts a little bit less today. It feels like I got punched in the eye. Don't ask me how I know what that feels like. I'm gonna take this off because it's time. And he said I could take this off because it's just a presser prep. <laughs> pressure dressing obviously it, sh it just should have stopped bleeding by now but i like, don't want to see what this looks like honestly how this deep hurts did you ever warning for anyone who doesn't want to see this like i'm gonna get close to the camera it's pretty gross um i have an ocu soft thing I don't like this. It is not as bad as I thought it was gonna look, which I'm very happy about that. I He made it seem like I was gonna have like this fat black eye underneath, but it's not bad at all. I don't know why that made me so nauseous. I need to eat. I might throw up. I don't know why that made me so nauseous. This thing has been stressing me out and I'm just trying to stay calm and breathe and just take it day by day. There's also a lot of things stressing me out right now. Um, the fact that I have to find a place to live because I have to move out of here within, in the next month. Um, I need to find a place to live really bad. Um, <laughs> so I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do and I keep saying that and then I don't do anything about it. When I went to visit home, Joff, he was um, one of the physical therapists that I did all the wound care with. Like he, me and him were just like this. He, um, I was telling him how nervous I am for residency and stuff like that. And he's like, Rachel, 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 tell me, how do you eat an elephant? And I was like, what? What do you mean? And he was just like, how do you eat, how do you eat an elephant? And I was like, well, I don't know. He's like, one bite at a time. And I was just like, you're right. Statements like these, like, oh, just one bite at a time, one step at a time, whatever it is, we know them. It's obvious. We, we know that that's how you get stuff done. And, uh, but the thing is that they have to be said to you at the right time for you to actually 
find value in them, I feel. This is how you eat an elephant, it's one bite at a time. You're accomplishing the impossible, and it's really important, and to not let these big challenges um, or scary things intimidate you, so, um, or defeat you, more importantly. So I'm going to get to work because my camera's gonna die. I need to charge it. <sighs> I feel good to talk to you guys for a second. I feel like I've just been randomly filming stuff, and talking to you is probably one of my favorite things to do. Um, I love you guys endlessly. You know that. And yeah, I'm gonna start getting stuff done. One bite at a time. Excuse my mouth or if there's anything in my teeth. I'm drinking a smoothie and it's very blueberry and um, my mouth is probably purple. But I just went on a really nice walk. Four miles. Um, burned like 500 calories. Um, I'm gonna put this drop in my eye. I picked this up from the pharmacy. It's tobramycin and dexamethasone ophthalmic suspension. So I do one drop four times a day. I'm so bad at drops. He gave me um, Sevalexin, 500 milligrams. This is Keflex. Four it's 500 milligrams, four times a day for 10 days. Um, but that's for a severe infection. He told me, he was like, you can just do seven of this four times a day, seven days. <laughs> I don't really want to. I know, don't, I know. I'm not having any more radiation of pain. I think the infection's resolved. I looked up the dosage for treating hordeolums. Like I said, the dosage he gave me is for a severe infection. This one was definitely a severe infection when I had, this one was two years ago. This one I think is, I don't think there's an infection anymore. So I looked up the dose in adults you can do 500 milligrams two times a day for seven days. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, God, these smell terrible, they smell like sulfur. So here's the seven days. <laughs> I wanted to mention something before I forget because I was very shocked at the, uh, at the amount of comments that I got on my last video about uh, when I was talking about the division of chores in our household. If you guys didn't know, I live with three other guys and they, we have a very much like a family dynamic here. Um, I, we will bicker sometimes like we're brothers and sister or, um, or sometimes we just have a, like a relationship in the sense where I feel very maternal towards them and I treat them as if they are my children. <laughs> so, um, and that's just the dynamic that we've developed and it works really well and I am so lucky to have them in my life. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know that I am not doing too much for them in terms of chores in the house. We all are responsible for certain things and I must say that they are really, really, really great. They're very clean. They tolerate me in my neuroticism, the way I am towards certain things. They just, they allow me the space to be the way I am and I really appreciate that because I know that the way that I like things clean a lot of people could not live with me because of it. And I'll be completely honest. And so I've I've gotten better in the sense that I don't expect everything to be completely clean 24-7. Uh, but there are certain things that I that still like that bother me and I actively am working on it, but that's besides the point. I just want to let you guys know that they do a lot, they do their fair share on the house, they do things that I won't particularly do. Um, and then I will do other tasks and it all evens out and at the end of the day. Um, we are like family and it doesn't kill me to do, you know, put their dish in the dishwasher or whatever it is. Like I, I, I would be happy to do it for them knowing that it would save them some time or something like that. Besides, they're going to clinic every day still and they work all day and I'm home or out having fun. And so it doesn't, it's not a burden for me to, to take on an extra task here or there. Good morning, everyone. I is looking, <laughs> it looks so much worse on camera, I feel like, but in real life it does not. I don't think it looks this bad. But um, anyways, good morning. Um, I have been house hunting for like for all last night and then all this morning I've been applying, just trying to get somewhere to live. It's exciting because I'm excited to have my own place and to live there and just, I don't know, furnish it the way I want and all this stuff. Cause a lot of the stuff in this room is not mine. It's the, the owner of this house. So it's not particularly my style. And like the whole house is, is furnished. And so it's, it's gonna be, I'm excited to live in a place that's mine that I'm renting obviously, but 
um, that I can furnish the way I want and the way my style is and I'm just so excited. But I'm, I'm kind of finding some things and there's some new listings this morning so I'm just on it, I'm getting on it. But I am gonna go to yoga this morning. I'm gonna get ready and yes, Yay! Okay, bye-bye. I don't know if I've talked to you at all today. I need to get ready for the event today. I'm gonna try and cover this up as much as I can, but I also don't wanna put makeup so close that, I don't know, because it's still technically open on the inside, so I don't know, I'm just kinda scared. Eh, I don't know, I put lashes back on. I'm just gonna be very good about cleaning them and all of that stuff, but I curled my hair a little bit. I'm gonna freshen it up because my hair was a little bit um, frizzy. I'm here, I made it. <laughs> Okay, so made it in here, and it's super pretty. So for a walk, they have really good appetizers. One of the docs over there, his name's Dr. Barnes. Shout out to Dr. Barnes if he's watching this. He's in one of my videos from way in the beginning when I first a white coat ceremony and then an acid base video. Um, it was like math in medical school. And it was that video, but. <laughs> he is the um, nephrologist that taught us all of that stuff, and so um, he watches the videos. It's super cool. Oh, all done, you guys. Um, so they had a really nice dinner for us and desserts. It was a cool night, and I'm happy I got to go. I'm gonna head home clean off my face, clean my eye, and then get into bed. Hey guys, what's up? You can see that you're sitting on four boxes. I am the worst YouTuber. I feel like every YouTuber that's been doing YouTube forever, like we don't use actual tripods anymore. Like people will buy tripods. I used to have a tripod when I first started. And then as you get more seasoned, you just use whatever in the environment to be your tripod. So. I'm home, obviously, um, had such a good time. One thing that I was thinking about, and I think this is the best time to talk about it, is that I always showed the reaction to my scores. If you guys remember, I've always shown like whether it was a good reaction or bad reaction, but for the most part, they were good, happy reactions to my test scores, whether it was like a written exam, whether it was my step scores, whatever it was, I pretty much always showed the reaction to my score. But a lot of people would get mad. Let me turn this brightness down, it's bothering me. A lot of people would get mad because I wouldn't share my actual score. I'd always explain how it's kind of taboo to share scores and people didn't like that. They didn't like that I never showed my score. Personally, I don't think that the score is important. What matters is like, are you happy with it? Did you do well? Did you try your best? That is like the bottom line. Did you try your best? Whatever the score or whatever the outcome, if you tried your best, that's the best that you got and that's okay. Sometimes it's not gonna be like stellar. Sometimes it's gonna be, um, you know, not what you expect and that's okay as long as you try and do your best and you, you know, can honestly tell yourself, I did everything I possibly could and that was the score I got. Is it reflective of everything that I know? Absolutely not, but at least you tried your best, right? So I never shared my actual scores because for a number of reasons. The main one is that like it's not important. It doesn't affect anyone's life except my own. Um, whether you know my score or not, it doesn't change what you do. I didn't share for that reason. I also didn't share because I know that a lot of my classmates would watch my videos. I'd share my reaction, which could be triggering for people, but you know, at the end of the day, this is my channel and I wanna share what I wanna share and it's my experience just as much as it is your experience watching my videos. I did well, obviously. You can only be on the Dean's List during preclinical years, but I was on the Dean's List for both, which means you're in the top 10% of the class. And then I was invited to this um, awards and recognition dinner tonight because I'm the top 10 people in the class. And last time I checked my rank, I'm number five in my class. Why am I telling you this? It's not to boast and brag and just say I'm so awesome and wonderful. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. What I'm trying to show you is that it is possible to do anything. Think about it. I did really well in school, obviously, but then I also was handling a full-on business on my own 
this being business there's a lot of stuff that you guys don't see behind the scenes of having youtube and social media stuff not only i was learning a medical school curriculum but i was also learning like business at the same time and managing my own business um, and taxes and all the stuff that comes along contracts negotiations just crazy stuff and doing that parallel with the medical school curriculum that's very rigorous obviously um, and then applying into a specialty that's very competitive um, and getting my number one i was able to do all of that and i could still be number five in my class it's doable if you put your mind to it and you work hard you will see good outcomes like at the end of the day you're gonna have good outcomes and you're gonna feel good about it i want to inspire you guys to like tell you that you can really do anything and if it seems impossible it's not back to the elephant how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time it's the same thing you just take it step by step making something making the impossible possible i hope that the message is received well and it's not like me bragging because that's not what I'm trying to do. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm done with school. Um, and so my grades do not matter at this point. I've got a job after res after medical school. So yeah, it doesn't matter. But that is it. That was my message. I'm going to wash my face. Right. Talk to you guys in the morning. You guys, I got the place. I got the place of my dreams. Oh my God. Well, not, it is of my dreams. It is a beautiful place. Oh my God, you guys, I got it. I just got a call um, from my landlord or whoever it is that's gonna rent me this future home. I'm so happy. This is the best news ever. I'm so excited, you guys. This place is perfect. It's perfect for me. It's, oh my God, it's like. <laughs>